he didn't know how to interact with humans. When I held him, he was like, wow, I never knew what being loved was like. I'm Maddie, and this is Toothless's story for GeoBeats. Toothless was rescued by the shelter I work with in Houston. It's called the Houston Humane Society. He had jumped out of the window of a trailer that was full of just trash. There were 40 other dogs with him as well. He seemed to be very feral and like he had never been handled before. My coworker and I opened the kennel and we had a towel and we placed it on him and he just froze. We discovered he wasn't really reacting out of aggression. It was more fear. He was very confused because he's only known living in trash and disheveled furniture for his whole life. I am known at work for loving senior old crusty dogs and I wanted to foster him to give him a second chance. I remember when it was time for me to take him home, he was running from me and wouldn't really let me touch him. I ended up getting gums a few times, but I didn't mind it. The first night that I took Toothless home, I actually held him for a while, and I could see in his face that he was kind of like, I like this, but I don't know if I'm supposed to like this. Oh, yeah. The next day, though, he was a completely different dog. I brought him to work with me again, and he was pawing at my legs because he wanted to be held. And now we're inseparable. We both just feel so loved by one another. It's unlike any bond that I have ever had with a dog. He gets super <laughs> excited and gets the zoomies often. <laughs> he loves to play with toys and he absolutely adores my other dog, Sunshine. <laughs> they are inseparable and they have been since about a week into him being in our home. Toothless is really, really clingy. Whenever I bring him to work with me, he either wants to be held or he wants to be laying right at my feet. Whenever I put him down, he'll scratch at my leg and be like, mom, why won't you hold me right now? I know. <laughs> He's very protective of me. If I'm holding him and someone walks into the room and they get close to me, as they get closer, he will growl and bark louder. He does not like our shelter director because he was the one that caught him with a net. And so anytime he comes into our office, he does growl. But I don't think he's doing it out of aggression. It's more like, I don't know you and my mom is pretty much the only human I trust. Is that so numb? Yeah. He has not tried to gum anybody since I've had him in my care, but if he was pushed and taunted enough, he might gum you. What are you doing? Toothless is approximately 10 years old. You cold? He is always cold. So sometimes he's in double layers. He has no teeth. He probably had to fight a lot for food and for resources. It could also have to do with old age and not being cared for <laughs> properly. His eyes, we are not sure what happened with his eyes exactly. They look kind of like boba. Then his little lip quivers when he's cold. <laughs> what are you doing, little monkey? Often people are so willing to overlook dogs like that. I just think that they are so grateful to their adoptive families. Yeah. And it's gonna be the best love that you will have ever known. You stinky boy.